uh, I hope you have seen the assignment sent to you. Have you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Now, today's class will be only solving those questions. Hmm? Uh, since some time was given to you to solve those things, uh, we should be able to finish the whole thing in one hour itself. All right. So the first question. Tell me what is it? It's there with you. Isn't it that? Hello. Yes, sir. It does. Mm. So what should we do? And I did as sine x. Dy by dx equals. What should I do? Minus sine x. Minus sine x. See, this is a composite function. Hmm? Tell me. Sir, why can't we directly cancel the square and root? Achha, that's already there. Okay. Yes, no, no problem, actually. So that will be plus or minus? Yeah, sine x. Sine x. Only plus, sir. It will be mod of sine x. Okay. Why? Yeah, we will write a root x square is equal to mod of x. It means both, right? Hmm? No, sir, only positive. Why? Sir. Why like that? You will do it in max in the same way, sir. You mean to say minus x into minus x so won't become plus x square? Hmm? So dy by dx equals. No, I did not follow why. Hmm? Root 4 equals plus or minus 3 if I write. You mean to say that's wrong? Yes, sir. Why? Yeah. Minus 2 so into minus 2 will be yeah, not 4. Proof or constant? No, mm -hmm. sir. But for, for variables, we will not take it, sir. For variables like x or y, we will only take mod of x. I want the explanation for it. Hmm? Uh, you can't ask me to just try to follow your rule, isn't it? Yes, sir. No, tell me. If I tell you anything like that, will you believe? No, sir. Mm. Okay. That doesn't really make a difference for us as far as integration is concerned. Differentiation is concerned. Even if you take this out, I have no problem with that. That's just a completely different uh, thing. Now, what do I write? Plus or minus cos x. Why minus Sorry. cos x? So, okay, just plus cos, cos x. x. Just plus. If you were taking minus sin x and minus cos x. Mm -hmm. But if you leave it like that and do it also, still we can do. Just a minute. dy by dx equals. It's a root function. So 1 by 2 root sine square x. Square x. Once again, yes, square function 2 sine x cos x. Isn't it? So even this becomes yes, what? Huh? Cos, cos x. x. Right? 2. Yes. Tell me. Take the second one. Y equals root of tan 
plus x 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 plus x
I think there's a, a few questions which you haven't really taught us how to do. For example, uh, yes, sir. There are two different functions in the we'll see, inside we'll the integral. I'll tell you. I've not given things like that. I'll tell you how to do. Huh? Okay. Sir. Okay. Now, you want me to do that first? I don't mind. I'll do it. Huh? But anyway, let us go one by one because there are others who are not involving properly. So can I continue? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Now, next thing. Uh, somebody yes, else now. Somebody else. What is this? Y equals 5 plus 2x minus sir, 4. I sir, I was disconnected. Can you please show third problem? Which one? Third one, sir. Why well, you got disconnected when I called your name? No problem, sir. Hmm. For the next two to three days, I'll be throwing on you many, many problems. Yes, sir. Completed, sir. Right. Now, this one. Uh, Hari Prasad, what to do with this? Tell me. Okay, uh, Suhita. Tell me. Dy by dx equals? Dy by dx equals? One. Uh, one by? One by? Two root all this because first I'll take root care of? Five x, five plus two x. We'll take care of the root function first. Then, dy by dx of this one, right? Huh? You want, you can write it if you want. D of yes, sir. 5 plus 2x minus 4. So this will be 1 by 2 root 5 plus 2x minus into, now this is a plus b plus c. Derivative of 5 is 0. Derivative of 2x is five. 4 into 5 x of r 4. 5, 4 x, 5 So 20. All right. Tell me. That's yes, all. sir. So just writing it in the numerator and writing it doesn't really matter for us. Now. So, Guru Charan, tell me. Sir, can we take two as common, cancel two numerator and denominator? No, you can. Hmm? You can simplify as much as you want. That's not a problem here. Hmm? Right. Five. Guru Charan, will you try this fifth one? Y equals, tell me, three x square plus 6x plus 5 to the power 7 by 5 dy by dx. Sir, I can get 7 by 2, sir. Huh? It is 7 by 2. 7 by 2 I have given? Yes, oh, sir. 7 by 2. All right. Huh? So what was I? What shall we do? Seven by two. Correct. In brackets, three x square plus six x plus five to the power five by two minus into six x into Derivative of inside six x plus six. That's all. Okay. And seven by two minus one will be what? Five by. Two. 
right all right so the first set is over those people previously who did not follow this is an opportunity because these tools are necessary i told you so that we can do physics uh, without being on the defensive that means we need not hold back anything we can use calculus we can use the concepts in a big way hmm? so i'll change this screen children actually uh, this type of this kind this kind of a uh, an exercise which i want you to do just involve yourself in the process before i asked you you volunteer and uh, start doing a question here along with me so who will take up the next question on your own there are many others vishnu vardhan is over inakt is over guruchar is over uh, sri ram y equals log x by x come on sri ram are you there Sai Ganesh, yeah, Guru Charan, tell me. Ganesh. Ah, uh, Ganesh, tell me. So we can take uh, numerator as u and denominator as. Yeah, means. when you look at it, the immediately that's a strike, isn't it? Quotient rule. Yes, yeah, sir. quotient rule. That's correct. Tell me now. X, x into d of De derivative of log x. Log x. Why d x? Yeah, minus. Minus. Uh, log x times derivative of x by uh, dx by x square. That's all. The question rule. Refer back others. So x into derivative of log x is one by x. Log x into log derivative of x is one. Yes, sir. So simply one minus. Log x by x square. Look at the question two. Yes, sir. Others. Now, in the next set, second one. Ganesh is over. Vishnu is done. Is over. Hmm. धनुष्चंद्रा वाई इक्वल्स टैन एक्स बाय व्हाट रूट एक्स हाँ हु विल ट्राई सुहिता ओके कमांड Once again, quotient rule, right? Huh? Ah. Isn't it so? Tan x derivative is how much? Secant square. Right. Root x is how much? Isn't it? Right. You may just leave it also. Huh? Sorry. Sir, x square or x in the middle? Ah, Jeevan Jyoti, I forgot. Come on. So you are ready to catch a mistake from me, but you don't. 
root x square is x right agreed now next question j and j to will do huh okay sir right complete it those who did not try touch complete it i have given the questions in advance so that we can finish that assignment that way we can do lot of work in the class itself Am I audible? Yeah, Sri Ram. I'll go to the next question. Sir, I can do the next one. Sir. Yeah. Uh, tell me the next question, Sri Ram. Y is equal to. Yeah, y equals one minus cos one x minus cos x by one by plus one plus cos x. Come on. dy by dx is equals to one plus oh. cos x. Right. One plus cos x is the denominator. Huh? Into dy by dx of numerator. Yes, sir. That uh, we can straight straight away yes. once we are comfortable with the whole thing. Yes, sir. Derivative of one is how much? Zero. Zero. Isn't it? Zero. Ah, uh, minus cos x derivative yes, is sin x. x minus sin x. Cos x derivative is minus sin x. Minus minus becomes plus. Yes, sir. Just don't forget it. Derivative of sin x is cos x. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Okay. So this minus yes, minus cos x minus sin x. So that becomes what? Sin x. Sin x. Then minus. Tell me, see that. Minus uh one minus cos x. One minus cos x into. Into minus sin x. Minus sin x. So this minus becomes plus, right? Yes. Divided by one plus cos. So if you'd like to simplify it further, you can. Yes. Anyway, you people are doing uh, trigonometry now, I think, isn't it? In maths. Yes. Hmm. All right. And this is the third one. Now, Shivacharan, are you there? Yes, sir. Ah, come on. Fourth one. Y equals x cos x. If you people speak in my class, seventy percent of your learning is over in the class, or it is fifty percent is over in the class. So, the Minimum level of you will be much higher than many, so that we can take off in a big way after one or two months. From that beginning itself, we can go to higher level solving problem solving. But yes, your interaction is very very important. I don't want you to keep watching it and uh, not interact. Tell me now, what to do with this? Um. We can go a little systematic in this because there is a product there and then quotient rule is there, isn't it? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so we can do like this: one plus x square into d of x, oh, x cos, cos x, x by dx. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Then a minus sign. Minus uh, x cos x into x cos x into Uh, d d of derivative of one plus x square by d right and whole by one uh, plus x square whole square whole square now little lengthier it becomes don't worry one plus x square into now this follows u v rule sure uh, yes sir tell me. 
uh, derivative of um, x is uh, first function. Okay. Product rule is what? D of. Okay. Again. Okay. Okay. So again, we need to apply. Okay. Uh, it because to... this is x cos x two functions, no? Product of two yes, functions. Sir. Mm. dx so, into x into x d of cos x by dx d of cos x by dx cos x is um, minus sin x right plus cos x into plus uh, cos x into derivative of x uh, derivative of x is uh, 1 everything else remains same yes but here D of 1 plus x square by dx. Once derivative is 0, x square zero. derivative is? Uh, one, uh, 2x. Yes. Whole divided by. Okay. Persist. Yes, sir. Sweeta, yes. tell me, Sweeta. Sir, mummy, wallu phone this kind of bitches. Akka ki class start is when mailing class. Inta ma? In bi chatla sarega breakout. No, your voice is breaking. You're asking something about Gautami. Huh? Put a message. Huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Why is it you are asking whether physical classes start for Gautami? No, sir. Mommy, why you phone? Complete. It's breaking off completely. So in recording class, sir, I will text me. Okay. All right. Now, can I go to the next one? Chillan. Yes, sir. All right. So next one is fifth. Uh, who will take it up? Guru Charan, will you try? Or anybody else, others? Dhanush Chandra, uh, Sri Ram will do, but how about others? I want people, more people to involve. Sri Ram, come on, proceed. The thing sin is, sin x, plus x. Cos. this is sin x plus cos x by sin x minus cos x. Right, Sri Ram, tell me. Sin x minus cos x. Yeah, this is the denominator. Okay. Into derivative of the Numerator. Yes, sir. Cos x minus sin x. Right. Cos x minus sin x. Straight away we can write. If yes. you understand once. Minus. Minus sin x plus cos x. Sin x plus cos x. Cos x into derivative of the numerator. Sorry, yes, denominator. Sir. Yes, sir. Cos x plus sin x. Because this is minus sin minus. x. Minus. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Minus, minus becomes plus. Whole divided by sin x minus cos x whole square. square. It is going to be simplified. You could do that. Yes, sir. That's not a big deal because in our physics problems, we need to finally get the answer, but all this kind of a thing won't keep coming. I By doing this, I am focusing on how to do a derivative. That's all. The yes. later part of it will take care later. Huh? Now, Vasista, you are talking about integration now, right? The third set is of integration. Come on. Vasist. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, first one. X square minus 5X plus 7DX. First do this. X square DX minus 5X DX plus 7DX you do like this. Yes, 
Yes. So now tell me, Vasist. So uh, x cubed by three. Right. People should know why, isn't it? But because there's no limit mentioned, I should have written one constant, but I'll write one constant for all the three together. Huh? Yes, sir. A constant plus a constant plus constant is another constant. So you not write constant for every integral here, right? Minus, yes, minus. 5x squared by 2. Yeah, x to the power 1 dx is x to the power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1. Plus? 7x plus c, sir. 7x. And for all the three integrals put together, one cost. So I just wanted this formula to become a part of your memory. Sir. Hmm? And... Uh, this is not valid for n equals minus one. Minus one. So mostly we'll be using this and that x to power n dx only. Mostly, but on and off sine cos also keeps keep coming. Hmm? Okay. Anybody who did not follow this, please tell me. Remember, your future class understanding depends on what you're doing in the class right now. Sir, yes. Is there any quotient rule or product rule for integration? Similar rules are there, not exactly. Yeah. Product rules are there. Huh? Uh, that's slightly, I mean, a little higher level for now. So we won't be doing that now. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Sir. Hmm. Right. Can I go to the next page, children? Yes, sir. Right. Now, uh, second one. So, who will tell me what we may do? If I have given a question, I will give it from what I have taught. Only here and there, once or twice, I just give something else. But mostly, it is understood that you can do from what you know. Yes, sir. We have to simplify it for this. One plus this. You, you can simply expand it, no? Yeah, I see. 1 plus? X cubed plus 3. X cubed plus? 3x square plus 3x square. x square plus 3x. 3x. Yes, sir. It? Yes, sir. Divided by root x. Root x. Isn't it? So once again, simplify it further. Because so that you could write for every yes, sir. term the integral. 1 by root x plus x cube by sorry dx should be there without dx that's not so if i've given you this here i expect you to do it like this because you will convert into what you know right yes sir Any problem with this children? Hmm? No. You write one more step if you want. X to the power minus half dx plus this is half, that is three. Three minus half, right? Yes, sir. So how much Five is that? Two. Five by two. This is how much? Yeah, it's three by two, sir. This is how much? One by two. So everything you got reduced to what? X to power n form, right? Yes, sir. Hmm. So this is what you are mentioning. Uh, oh, is that for a assist? Yes, sir. 
Uh, I thought that was a different way of dealing with this because that was a composite function. So actually, no, deliberately I've given it because I wanted to see whether you will exploit what you already knew. So it becomes what now? Extra power minus half yes. plus one Ooh. by minus half minus plus two. one plus this extra power. This is. This is plus C. So you could write it finally. Hmm? Yes, sir. Only one thing extra given here. I'll tell you where is it. Okay, children. One minute. Sir. Yeah. See, you can write one more step to write it in neat looking form okay remember by the time you go to 12th class in physics also you require some better integration but now you don't require too much so instead of doing uh, more uh, functions and uh, all those complicated uh, functions now i leave it to your mass later but more than different ways of integration, differentiation, why to differentiate, why to integrate? That is what is required in physics. That means in a given problem, you should be in a position to recognize whether you require these tools. So that is actually the challenge, all right? So I'm just doing to the extent required by us because this should not become the stumbling block later. I don't know if people are dropping today. Saturday, what? Now, next question is, second is over. Third, right. Now, assist. Deliberately, I wanted to scare you people by giving this, but it's not so much. By sine square x cos square x. First of all, simplify this function. Psi sine cube x divided by sine square x cos square x plus cos cube x by sine square x, x cos square x. So this becomes what, children? Sin x will sin be there. By one by cos square x. Sin x by cos square x. One by cos square x is what? Secant square x. But instead, I can write it as secant x tan x. Do you know? One sin x goes sin x by cos square x. So sin x by cos x is tan x. One by cos x is? Uh, yes, sir. So I've given you this. This you already know whose derivative is this. Huh? And this one. Cos x by sin x cot x. 1 by sin x is secant x. So integral, this one you need to take now. Secant x tan x dx plus integral. Integral of this I'm doing. Huh? 
for the integration integral of all that nice. and then cortex cosecant x dx dx now look at these functions they look similar no they look familiar yes go back to the differentiation table you turn your pages i'll wait sir uh, for a secant x tan x is so yeah look d of d of secant x by dx was secant x tan x tan so x yes. integral secant x tan x is what then secant secant x plus c isn't it so yes. similarly we also know d of cosecant x by dx was minus cortex cosecant x so d of sorry integral of cortex cosecant x dx should be minus cosecant cosecant x so what will i get children here secant x minus secant x minus cosecant x plus c that's yes so that's frightening actually amma sir did not do this you are thinking but it's actually a simple trick all right yes hmm. Any questions, sir? Assist? No, sir. Right. Now, keeping taking clue from here, I want one of you to tell me how to do this fourth one. Sir, sir, can be written as integral of one by cos square x. Just a minute. Let me write the question. Fourth one is what? One plus two sine x by cos square x, x. dx. Integral. So, shall I separate it? One by yes, cos sir. square x. Yes, a secant square x plus two sine x by cos x is two tan x. One by cos x right. is secant. Secant tan. So this is this has come in the known form, right? Yes. Uh, secant square x dx plus two okay. two tan, tan x. Secant square x dx. You know, d of tan x by dx is. Secant square. So integral secant square x dx actually is equal to tan x. So this will be what tan x plus two. Just now we wrote it. Secant. That's all. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Just this fifth one, slight, small change I've given. Which anyway was going to be taken care in the another set, that blue, blue set. So by tomorrow evening, I'll send you a very 
long assignment. So be prepared. Sam, I didn't quite understand how two tan x secant x became two secant x. Uh, ah, integral tan x secant x. Yes, sir. So how, how did it become? This became secant x. Why? D of, are in the previous one, it is there, no? So differentiation of this is secant x. Hi, sir. Sorry. <laughs> So tell me, children, is that all right? Yes, sir. You go to the next one. Oh, next one is fifth one. Sridham, tell me. Cos x plus sin x whole square dx. You can't do cos x individual and square it like that. First of all, expand it. Huh? Equals, tell me, cos square x plus sin square x plus 2 sin x cos x, which is sin 2 x. Sin 2 x. Even this I have told you children how to get. Huh? Yes, sir. The sine A plus B, sine A, sine B plus cos A, cos B. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, so dx. And luckily, this becomes 1. Right? Yes, sir. So I can write as 1 dx plus sine 2x dx. Right? Yes, hmm. So what should I do after this? Integral dx is x, all right? Yes, sir. Uh, because x to power 0 plus 1 by 0. Integral sine 2x dx is probably you may think minus cos 2x. But it's not, see, sine x dx will be minus cos x. Why? Because differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. You understand? Yes. So, differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. Huh? So yes. differentiation of sin x is minus cos x. So integration of sin x is minus cos x. But here it's cos 2x. The idea is whatever you get, this is this is integrand I call, this is the antiderivative I told, right? The names. So if yes, I sir. find the derivative of this, I should get this. So if I find the derivative of cos 2x, will I get sin 2x? Let us check. Cos 2x derivative if I calculate. What will I get, children? Minus sin 2x into 2 I'll get, isn't it? Huh? Hello? Hi, hello. Are cos yeah, x sir. derivative is minus sin x. But yes, sir. Yes, sir. 2x derivative is 2. So I'm yes, not sir. getting, I'm not getting sin 2x here. You have to divide it by 2. Ah, you have to divide by 2. 2 here. That's all. So that this 2 is gone. So plus c. So this minus will come here. All right. Tell me, children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, isn't the integral of uh, dx is x squared by 2? 
इंटीग्रल ऑफ डीएक्स एक्स स्क्वायर बाय टू क्यों इंटीग्रल ऑफ एक्स डीएक्स इज एक्स स्क्वायर बाय टू दिस एक्स पर वन हाँ when you wrote integral dx logically speaking it is x to the power 0 dx which means x to the power 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 is x and physically speaking yeah, okay. dx plus dx plus dx plus dx is x2 minus x1 in the that graph should be visible in your mind all dx if i add i'll get this one x2 minus x1 all small dx as if i add If x1 is zero and x2 is x, this is x minus zero. So integral dx is summation of all small, infinitesimally small elements. So it should be x or x minus zero. Sir, can't we apply that x power n function to this one, sir, directly? Cos x plus sin x. You cannot. Huh? Yes. Sir. Did I tell you anything like that? No. No, sir. You should not. Huh? Yes. Yeah, no, derivative integrals, integrals are that way different. Yeah. Actually, integrals is to find out that function whose derivative is known, so that we could write an integration. It's a reverse process, actually speaking. Yeah, I see. Okay. It's not a linear, and uh, uh, it's, it's not uh, something you get from the first principles like that. Hmm? Yeah, I see. Got it. Okay. Right. I thought we will finish, but there's still more. Hmm. All right, we will try. Actually, if you come prepared, it becomes fast. Huh? This is the right time. There is no exam tension, nothing. Only learning, right? And uh, how much difference it makes later, you will know. All right, shall I continue? Have you people yes, followed? Huh? Yes, yes. Right. So, shall I change the screen? People are dropping off. They'll say internet issues, but they thought I have taken away their Saturday time or what? I don't know. Okay. I'll rub this off instead of adding uh, one more slide. Just one more question will do at least. Shall I remove this, or I'll remove here? Even four minutes are there. People are dropping because they thought they have done a favor to me by coming. Now let me see. Integral. What is this? Four uh, x cubed minus three x squared plus two x uh, plus five uh? plus five yes sir dx dx from zero to one zero to one. Now this is definite integral. We need to substitute the yes, limit. Yes So what should I do? First one. Can we write a little in short way without writing yes, too many steps? Yeah, yes, huh? sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, we'll try. So four in like four in yeah. Uh, x up or three by three. Three plus one by three four plus one. Four by four by four. Sir. Yeah. Have... Right. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, minus... minus three into uh, x cube by three. X cube by three. Right. Cube by. Three. Deliberate to choose and like this. Huh? Plus two. two into x square by two. Plus five x. Five x good. Huh? So From four four cancels. Two. Three three cancels. Two two, two cancels. Three. And all between zero one. to one. Zero. Yes, to one. So this is x power four minus minus x cube, x cube plus plus x square plus five x between. Zero to, zero, to zero to one. So first we need zero. to substitute one in all the x place. Yeah, yes, sir. One, one minus, minus one. One minus one, one minus, minus one. Plus one. Plus five. Plus five. Right? Minus zero. Minus all zero. Zero. So what do I get now? Yes, sir. Six. That's all. Yes, sir. 
So, but this is going to be very important for us. We are going to use this extensively in the kinematics itself. Huh? Substituting limits and getting the final answer. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. I'll stop here because there's no point in continuing when people are dropping off. But anyway, this, there are other sums. Just try them and uh, look for an assignment by evening tomorrow. Another long assignment I'll give you, which covers almost everything what all we've done uh, until now. Hmm? Okay. Okay. So I'll end the session for now. Sir, one minute. Yeah. Yes, sir, done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, children. Thank you, sir.